According to Italian-Canadian artist and scientist Nick D'Aleandro, in the near future, we will be able to live up to 120, 150 years of age. How's that possible? A very interesting exhibition here at the Columbus Center in Toronto explains to us how. The consensus is, is that aging is now considered a disease in the scientific community. The public, not so much. They still think, well, you know, aging is inevitable. It's a part of life. But why is it that cancer is not thought that way? Cancer, as soon as somebody has a, a cancer, it's a disease and we treat it. We do everything in our might, chemotherapy, radiation, whatever. You know. But aging, unfortunately, is like, well, it's, not, it's something you can't do anything about. That's the big change perceptually, is that talking to scientists and to people in the community of aging research, they've now come to the understanding that aging can be treated and treated as a, a disease. So if we attack all these different issues at the genetic and molecular level, cellular level, so it's not so uh, ridiculous now to actually work on aging as a disease and to reverse some of these diseases that have ailed us and you know caused us a lot of uh, a decrepitude and horrible uh, diseases and outcomes. Genomics, uh, stem cell therapy, epigenetics, bioinformatics, all these incredible fields have been exploding in terms of the research, what, what they're doing in the labs. So it's no longer so fantastical that um, we can arrive at these uh, solutions to reverse or slow down the aging process. Right now, I kind of think of it as like the, the Wright brothers in 1903 where they were tinkering about to make that big revolutionary first flight uh, in 1903. I think we're in that kind of, uh, in the garage right there right now. We're tinkering with the beginnings of a very big revolution. I, the, I hope it'll be the creative destruction of medicine in a positive way. And I think that uh, we're on our way to a better future but we have to work together and make sure that we um, cooperate as a society and um, make the right decisions and choices. Because as we, we say, when we're talking about the future, we have to talk about the present because it's in the present that we uh, make the decisions and choices that influence the future. And if it becomes a desirable future or an undesirable one. So the, pre and the present lies on a time continuum being transformed into the past and into the future. So we're like kind of like present, past, future, present, past, future, but it's the present that we are living right now. And so this exhibit is very much uh, more about the present than about the future because we need to uh, collaborate, cooperate, and make decisions and take actions right now if we want to have a direct influence on a positive um, and desirable future. That's all from the Columbus Center. Thank you for being with us. Uh -huh.